Feeling hungry? Let's make a Nigerian staple called stew. You'll need bell peppers, tomatoes, special guest stars, ginger and garlic, three hot, hot, hot scotch bonnets, and blend it all together before boiling it. So let it dry out a bit. Plus, we like it thick. Next, Crack open an onion and fry till it becomes translucent. Then add your tomato pepper mix and fry it for 5 minutes. Then add fried beef and spicy broth and let them mingle. Season with salt, paprika, curry, thyme, one bay leaf because we are extra. And mix everything. That's it. Wait, wait. We can't forget. My Marco, I'm running Don't back do to you. The one I'm and only main side chick. Perfection. And that's how you do it. Now enjoy this criminally good tastiness because you need it. Mm. Wahala! <laughs> <laughs> recipe is the one prepare to be obsessed start by prepping your fresh ingredients then seasoning your meat generously with simple spices and then letting it cook for 30 to 40 minutes once done separate your meat from the stock and roast it keep the sexy stock aside and let's get to business add palm oil to a pot and season with bouillon crayfish and iru come on then gather your peppers blend and throw it into your oil and let this base fry like fry then add dry fish, roasted meat, and that sexy stock to let them mingle. Make your egusi paste with egusi, crayfish, one onion, bouillon, and water. Mix well and add this star to the party. Woo! Tensions are rising. So let's stir the pot and cool it down with some water. Baby! Add some spinach to this. Cook it for a few minutes and shine your eye. Because if you aren't pinching from the pot, you are devouring from your plate. Wahala! <laughs> Jollof rice tasting like sweet tomatoes. After frying, I fried mine for about 10 to 15 minutes. I added my pepper mixture and I seasoned it. I have listed all the seasoning that I used on the screen. Please check it out. After frying for about 20 minutes, I added my washed rice and I covered that to cook. Please cover with foil because you want to lock in moisture. You want your jello fries to cook in its own steam. You don't want to end up with soggy jello fries. So I added onions, fresh tomatoes, butter. Yes, butter. <laughs> oh, well, see how lush our jello fries looks now. Please check out the full and detailed recipe on my YouTube channel.
Bye. Let's make clam bunny chows. To a pot, add in vegetable oil and onions. Add in green chilies, thyme, bay leaves, star anise seeds, cinnamon stick, fennel or sorm seeds, and cumin or jeera seeds. Mix and sauté until the onions are translucent. Add turmeric powder, red chili flakes, chili powder, garam masala, cumin powder, coriander powder, cardamom powder, and ginger and garlic paste. Mix and add in the lamb pieces and salt to taste. Mix well and allow the meat to seal in the spices for 10 minutes. Add in blended tomatoes, curry leaves, coriander grated potato and boiling water. Mix and allow to cook for 25 minutes. Add in the potatoes and some water. Mix well and allow the potatoes to cook until soft. Once the potatoes are soft, turn off the heat and bring out the loaf of bread. Cut the bread into halves. Use a knife and cut out a square shape into the bread. Use your fingers to gently pull out those pieces of bread. I prefer to dunk those pieces of bread right into the pot of gravy. Spoon the lamb curry into the hollowed out bread. Garnish with fresh coriander or dhania. And don't forget to serve it with a carrot salad. Follow for more. right off the bone i've got you sorted believe me when i say you will never make your oxtail the same way after watching this video step one you'll need to brown your oxtail seasoning with salt and pepper this ensures that your fat renders down bring your onions in adding the spices on the screen feel free to screen grab 
Now you'll bring back your browned meat to the pot. Add in your tomato paste, it's very crucial. Optional red vino. Then drop your stock and cover with water. Add in your Worcestershire sauce, your carrots. Cover up and place in the oven at 170 degrees for about two and a half hours. Now for the moment of truth. I served mine with some mashed potatoes.